Hey guys, welcome back to Steam World Dig. Uh, last time we opened up the room, and uh, we're gonna head into there as soon as I sell some more uh, loot here. I've been stocking up a bit just because I want to make sure I have all the gear I need, because I feel like we're getting close to the end here. So let's talk to Dandy one last time. I don't know if I need the diamond pick, but might as well get it. I got enough stuff here, and I still have a lot left. Don't have enough for the knockout punch. I feel like a couple of these other guys might have some upgrades I could use. Maybe, isn't there like a swift pickaxe? Yeah, I don't have enough for that. Alright, well, I think we're good to go. I got enough stuff. Some of these guys still have a few things like torches. I'll grab some more. No, I got health and everything. Alright, I think we're good. Stock up on ladders just in case I get stuck. And uh, if we do badly in the boss battle or whatever is down there, we can always come back and uh, restock. But I think I'm in a pretty good position. So this teleporter is going to take me straight down here, and we're going to enter the door and see just what is in this room. And, oh, the music is getting ominous. We're supposed to head down towards that one corner, so let's try to run through here if I can. i got to let these things not look at me, or I can hit them in the eye, and maybe that'll stun them long enough for me to run through. Let's do it. Okay, cool. Perfect. All right, how are we going to... Ooh, can't break through these. There we go found a secret area here. That's not going to help me get up there, though. Let's try to steam jump up if I can. Oh, there we go. Okay, just enough. This looks like it can break. Nope. Some of those look very similar, and some of them can break, and some of them can't. So, whoa! Bzz. This is scary. What is this? Uh-oh. It's a crazy eye. Volbot. He's loud and <laughs> crazy. Welcome to Vectron. Bzz. Rusty. Rusty. Joe? It's my uncle. Jesus. <laughs> Part of Joe's resides in our new body. He merged with us freely. And soon so will you. We are in need of a true heart. We have prepared you, stripped you of your weak steam bot shell. You are already more part of us than you are yourself. We are invincible. The Volbod will rise and rule. You've prepared me, that's true. I'm prepared to stop. There is that heart we need, <laughs> if you will not give it freely. Alright, time to fight Volbot. Alright, I have no idea how to do this. I'm guessing we're going to destroy these vents. Oh, he's shooting out little things. we got to get these lasers down, most likely. I'm going to try to blow this up. Uh-oh, look out. We've got a laser. Oh, man, that's a big old laser. Didn't do too much. Okay, I want to try to drill this. Okay, we need to get out of here. Oh, he's hitting me. He's got a force field on him. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. We already lost a bit of health. Man, Volbot's voice is crazy. Let's jump down. Okay. Yeah, I, I can't jump up like I was trying. I gotta just get down out of the way. There we go. Keep working on destroying these. Look out. I'm not sure what would do the most damage on these, but I'm gonna do my drill. Just because I feel like I'm hitting it the most. I could try my pick. Maybe my pick will do more damage. There we go. Sweet. Filled up my health, too. Alright, I'm gonna switch to my punch here. Let's try to get all these little critters out of the way. They're kind of in the way. Messing with me. There's a way I could dig down here. I wonder what that leads to. I might have to do that eventually. Whoa. Oh, there's a laser down here. Okay. Guess we don't need to go down there yet. I'm going to just try to blow this up while I keep the critters back. No, that worked really good. <laughs> yeah, we should be using the steam punch on these guys. All right. I'm going to go down one. And then... Oh, I can't do that. Crap, I blew up both of them. I meant to just... Let's hit a single one. There we go. This will work good. Punch. Can just, he's not going to shoot me with the laser back here, will he? Oh, there we go. Oh, man. He is powered down, it looks like. Okay, let's try to get him. Let's try to hit him with the, uh, the old punch here. Do I have to go on his sides? Oh, no. I have to go above him. Okay, let's hit him. There we go. There we go. There we go. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. I don't know if I should be steam punching him or just punching him. Okay. He is charged back up. Time to repeat the process. Felt, felt like the steam punch was doing the most damage. Let's try that. Let's see if I if I could get in a good position where I could hit that better. That would be nice, but seems like I have to kind of jump on top of it. And here we go. Just to, you know, in the middle of this boss battle, I want to say that uh, Adrian Gunther is the winner of the Steam World Dig contest. I wanted to wait until we were, whoa, close to the end here, and I have a feeling this is the end. Whoa, look out, look out. Jeez. I hate, that's probably my least favorite enemy, those weird robots that uh, dash at you. There we go, that one's down. I'm glad these things give us health, because uh, otherwise this would be a lot tougher. There we go, should let him shoot his own things off. They, see, they seem like they pop up on different areas. Oh, I can't get up to that one. Crap, 
I'm gonna need to steam jump up to that. Maybe I should kill that first. Let's get this one. There we go. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Can we get through there? Nope, sweet. All right, this is, should be the last one here. There we go. Is he open? Oh no, there's another one somewhere. It's got more of these things. Where's the last one? I gotta find it. But yeah, can, congrats to <laughs> Adrian Gunther for winning the contest. I did a random number th of all the comments and I made sure it wasn't one that spammed the comments or anything. How do I get on the other side of that? Look out. Oh, we gotta hit this guy right there. we go. All right, now we can jump up here. But yeah, I made sure it wasn't somebody who left a ton of comments trying to spam it and win. There we go. All right, punch him in the eye. Get him, get him, get him, get him. I don't know if I should be charging this. Now I feel like I should have gotten the damaging punch. All right, he's powered back up again. Let's get these punches going. I can hit this one while he's shooting the other one. There we go. I like the ones that he can't hit me on. Very useful. There we go, that one's down. Get this one up here, or this one down here, whichever. I'll just switch to a different one when he's shooting one. There we go. It's going pretty well. Hopefully he... I don't know, he's probably got some more tricks in store. It seems like he's getting weaker, though. He's getting more uh, frantic the more that we hit at him. And he's making more of these things. Just try to do this strategy again, so he'll stay out of the way. Launch. There we are. And a couple more of these. Jump over him. I could hit this one from below, probably, if I charged my punches up. Slow over him. <laughs> Just gotta play keep away. But yeah, I guess Joe fused and became self-aware and stuff. <laughs> These robots already seem self-aware. They're, like, self-serving, you know? They go make money and live in a little town. So, but whatever. His artificial intelligence seems less than the robots that are actually living normal lives. Unless maybe they were programmed by humans to live normal lives. But who knows? I'll get into the my ideas about the plot maybe after we're done destroying our uncle here. <laughs> this weird hive mind. Right, that's almost... I just don't want to destroy it when he's shooting at me. Because then I'll fall right into his laser. Probably going to make him stop. There we go. Is he opened? Nope, there's another one somewhere. Oh, jeez. Okay. We're still doing okay on health. Whoa, whoa, what was he doing? He's doing some crazy laser pattern. I gotta look out. Okay, where is he... He's got one more here somewhere, right? Because his body isn't unshielded yet. So there's got to be another one. Where is it? Whoa. Unless we can punch him. Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, where's his other one? Is it hidden down here? Yeah, here it is. Okay. That's what I figured. Let's get that one. Look out for his laser thingy. This one shouldn't take long to destroy. Oh, God. He can shoot through there. That's what I figured. There we go. All right. We got to go get him. Hurry, 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 hurry. That was like the worst last one to get. Because now I gotta get up on top of him quick. Get him, get him, get him. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Come on. Seems like he's almost dead. Get him, get him, get him. Punch him. There we go. I think we finished him off, guys. Awesome. Thank you for joining me this far if you've been with me through the whole game. Or if this is your first episode, <laughs> hopefully. It was an exciting one. Ah, we did it. Hopefully we didn't get like fused with it, the weird crazy robot trying to murder everyone oh <laughs> look at um <laughs> the one guy's dancing on his wheel there just finished behold my masterpiece it's kind of some modern art there what i thought it was supposed to be a statue of rusty he was the one who saved this town from them demons after all not this what is this anyway a scrap metal monkey so is it not obvious it is the abstraction of a destructible steambot acquiring godhood Sort of resembles my poor father after he's run over by a freight train. Bless his soul. <laughs> my sensibilities for the finer things in life are altogether wasted here. Without Rusty, this place is exhaustively devoid of class. What do you even need this monument? We still haven't done a proper search down there. A month he's been missing now, honey. The cataclysm down there destroyed everything neath Old World. All that's left is scrap metal. You should probably focus on the future, girls. Scavenging on those tunnels is no work for a young lady. Well, nothing walked out of that destruction alive, dear. Come now, people. This girl can't be the only one with some backbone. I miss him too. A close friend he was. <laughs> I remember he used to spend all this money. I remember the first day he walked into my shop. It was on a Tuesday. <laughs> Pull yourself together, man. He didn't just evaporate, did he? He's still down there somewhere. I just know it. I will keep looking. For better or worse, I will find him. And hopefully she finds him in time for a sequel 
game saved. <laughs> yeah, I think Image Inform is probably working on a sequel. Oh, there he is. He's wandering. Completion time, four and a half hours. Total cash, 20,000. Got a gold medal for that. Gold Sheriff Star. Total orbs, 123. And deaths, eight. So I did okay. I got, it looks like silver and then gold on the one. So I was money grubbing. So thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this series. And thanks to Image Inform this great team that made this amazing game. I definitely hope to see a sequel, maybe on the Wii U, if they can do something on there, but I'd like to see uh, another sequel regardless of where it ends up, because this game was very fun. It's uh, pretty good for a cheap $8 downloadable game, so go check it out if you haven't. And Adrian Gunther, congratulations for winning the code. I'm gonna send your name on to Image and Form, and hopefully they'll, they'll send that to you pretty soon here. But yeah, I d can't help but talk in the <laughs> the Western accent still. Hmm. About to be moseying on with my gold glowy eyes out in the desert. I think I passed that barrel twice now. <laughs> it's got the like cartoon thing. So the 3D on I never commented on the 3D on this game is pretty cool because there's it's got parallax scrolling where like the foreground and the background move separately. So it's really cool to see with the 3D like. You'll see the mountains and stuff move slower than the than the cacti and everything. But yeah, maybe someday we'll be able to do 3D over the computer <laughs> in videos. But yeah, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. And I think that's it for SteamWorld Dig. Adios, partners. Goodbye.